Hi everyone, today we are talking about increasing your motivation through increasing your energy levels and attracting more money. How can you attract more money through increasing your energy levels? Because the amount of energy that you have in your body is what attracts the amount of money that comes into your life because energy, money is energy. And if money is energy, if there's a large amount of energy that you're wanting, a large amount of money, you need to have that space within yourself to be able to harness that or reflect it or attract it, right? And so when we're talking about energy, it's it's just so important that you understand your energy system. And if you're somebody who needs three coffees in the morning, it takes a while to get up and moving, you're not really motivated throughout the day, you struggle, it, it may be difficult for you to attract more money because money is an energy and it, it goes in this cycle, right? And it is learning how to heal. You heal the old so that you can create some space, get the motivation, understand your why, understand your purpose, use that to drive you, create the space for the money, make more money, more energy. So, and that just keeps going. So initially you may have to start contributing more and finding ways to motivate yourself more so then you can raise your vibrations to attract more of that money vibration. I hope that's making sense because when you're vibrating at this low frequency, it is just there's nothing really happening. There's nothing to there's nothing to move around. And you look at people like I don't know, some of the more successful people in the world, they have so much energy and your energy is what is going to attract your clientele. It is what's going to attract you opportunities. Your high vibrations will attract more high vibration opportunities and more high vibration experiences. Your low vibrations will also attract low vibrational energy and all of that. You catch the drift. So let's talk about why you may be struggling to have energy throughout the day or have motivation. One of the reasons is because your energy system is sabotaging you. So I have a four step framework when I work with clients. I do this in my mastermind. There are spots open in my mastermind. There are very limited availability in my one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I do both and in the description, you'll find information to both. And the four step framework in this order is very, very important. First step is healing. Healing your blocks and healing and, and releasing and letting go of the past experiences that are causing low vibration in your body. Literally stagnation. It is, it is stuck energy that's in your body from the past that hasn't been released because you didn't know how. And this takes nervous system regulation, somatics work, or just sometimes a verbal purge. Sometimes people get off a discovery call with me and they're like, I'm dizzy and I'm not feeling well. And that's because they just purged out so much and so their system is re-regulating and all of that. It's a whole thing. Healing is the first step because we don't have space for anything new if you've got all this stuck old energy. So we're gonna release that and then we move on to the mindset work because now we have space for new shifts. Now we start rewiring our relationship to money, our relationship to success, our relationship to whatever it is, maybe even rewiring our relationship to fear. Some of us think fear is good when really it could be a positive thing to pressure. Pressure can be a positive thing. Stress, stress can be a positive thing and we don't really know in what ways it can work for us in a positive way because all we know is the negative. And so we want to start rewiring and shifting the mindset in those ways so that you can start to friend discomfort because discomfort is a necessary skill Sitting in discomfort is a necessary skill in order for you to expand and be more successful. If you do not have the skill of knowing how to sit in discomfort, you're not gonna get very far. Life is full of difficulties and discomfort and it's learning how to manage it, sit with it, be with it, move through it. And the best way I can describe this is when you go through a breakup, do you hop right onto the next person or do you distract with latching on to work or latching on to even like your gym journey. Like some people really like latch on to their fitness and they try to like obsess over that or obsess over work or they just obsess over another person. 
you're just transferring your attachments. This is where you're going to want to recreate that relationship with discomfort. Discomfort is good. Discomfort takes time. Just sitting in discomfort and just sitting and being with it is work. We feel like we're not doing anything or we're wasting time or we're not being productive because we're sitting in discomfort. You are working very hard when you're doing that. You're just not having much external productivity, but the internal productivity comes first and is most important. So if you are avoiding that, or you're somebody who likes to avoid that discomfort, the second it, you get a little anxious or the second it gets a little, a little crazy, you're like, mm, I need to get away from that, right? And when I say like, when it gets a little crazy, I'm talking about like when the pressure starts to come or when, um, when the stress starts to happen or something, when you're elevating, I'm not talking about like in a relationship or something, if somebody's crazy, you might want to get out of there. But if you're expanding, life is going to get a little rocky because if you're here and you're trying to call in things that are this big, but you're here, the journey from here to here is uncomfortable. Change is uncomfortable. The first thing I told the mastermind was that your life is going to change. That was the first session we had all together. I said, your life is going to change. Are you prepared for that? They all looked at me like, what? And what is change? Change is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable and you need to learn to sit in the un discomfort because then all of these fears come up and this is still where we do the mindset work. When fears come up, fear of responsibility, fear of the unknown, fear of the pressure, fear of being held accountable. And all these fears, if they're in your mind, your subconscious mind and your energetic body is going to sabotage your growth. Meaning your body's going to shut down and it's going to get tired. Meaning you're, you're going to sabotage things through avoidance, procrastination. You're just not really going to understand why this is happening. This is why you avoid and you procrastinate, you sabotage and why you get tired and why you need a nap in the middle of the day. If you're getting eight to nine hours of sleep, you shouldn't need a nap in the middle of the day. If you're getting like four to five hours a day, like maybe you do need a nap and that's just your sleep schedule and that's fine. I'm really not here to preach on your sleep schedule, but if you need to work on that too, that's part of the habit shifting, which is the next step in our four step framework. So first we've got healing. Second, we've got the mindset work. Third is the behavior changes. When you are changing a habit or changing a behavior, you are sending your brain an entirely new message. So I want to tell you that when you've got stuff to do, but you decide to take a nap, you just told your brain that taking a nap or relaxing or whatever it is, is more important than doing those things. And I'm not saying it's not. There may be cases where you're like, I just really need to relax. Like that's going to do me better than doing all these tasks. But if it's something you've been procrastinating on, you've got to pay attention as to what message you're sending your brain, right? If you're trying to lose weight and you don't go to the gym or you eat the cookie, you just send your brain the message that your health and fitness is not important. That takes a hit on your self-worth, your self-confidence, and your self-trust. So we've got to really work on doing what we say we're going to do. And we've got to really work on understanding what messages we'd like to send our brain. And we can do that in small amounts. We can do that in baby steps. Just like a, one more example, because this one's important. Every time you people please, direct hit to your brain, my needs are not important. Self-worth, self-confidence, self-trust. I don't trust myself on how I'm going to be with people, so let me just isolate. I am not confident because I put others before myself and I don't, I don't value myself and love myself, right? And I don't feel worthy because that self-love is, is absent because I'm putting everybody before me. That people-pleasing is definitely one you want to look out for. And one that a lot of real estate people and entrepreneurs, they struggle with. So when we work on behavior changes and we work on habit changes, we want to do them in a small way. Piece by piece by piece. Because if you are especially sensitive to discouragement or to an expectation hangover when you expect something and then you just totally get so upset and you get discouraged, then you're going to want to start small because if you go real big too soon and you flop, you're gonna just give up. But if you take little bite-sized pieces, you're going to see progress and if that progress gives you more confidence, then go with that. 
right? There may be times in your life when you have to take big risks, sure. But there may, there may be times where you have to take small bite sized pieces along the journey because this is a long life. We forget, we're like, tomorrow I wanna be a millionaire. It does not happen like that. In order for me to get there, I remember, I was in real estate, bought my first property. Okay, I'm sitting at like assets at, I think it was what, almost 300,000. Years later, I bought my second property. So let's see, I'm 30 now, I was 25, bought my first property. Two years later, I bought my second property. So took that four or five, six, then I'm at like 700,000 and I'm like, okay, like this is expansion. I really feel this. Now I've got $700,000 worth of assets. The COVID happened, the economy exploded, the housing market exploded. And I'm sitting at like one, one and change million in a year. And it, it happened over years to get to a million dollars. I wrote all this down in my manifestation and my goals and everything. This is what I wanted. I wanted to make X amount from rental income. I wanted to have X amount in assets. And now I'm in a place where I wanna make X amount in my coaching business. And I wanna I want to make X amount of impact in my coaching business. So you just, you grow over time. I did not have a million dollar asset portfolio overnight. It happened over a span of like, three and a half years, which I think is pretty quickly, but it, you just, you move, you move at your pace. You move at your pace and you take bite-sized pieces. I could have went for the million dollar property, but it would have been a lot more difficult for me to find the renters, to pay the mortgage, to do all, because it's just, it was just higher and I didn't have that much experience. So I started with a small $275,000 property. I was like, okay, this sounds good. And then I moved up to a $384,000 property that had more bedrooms and more space. And then I started filling that one up and I'm like, okay, we could do this. And then you get, you just get there. So as you watch your journey, just take your time and be patient. I think humans with the world that we're in struggle to be a little patient and patience is required along this journey. Focus and patience, focus and patience. And in all of that, invest in yourself. Guys, I can't, I can't say that enough. Invest in yourself, however you do it. The more money you spend, the more money you're gonna end up making. If you get into a $50 per month membership program, that's just helping you with your goals and helping you stay focused and holding you accountable, amazing then maybe you can get to a $500 program. Then you maybe you can get to a $3,000 program. I will tell you the first time I did a coaching program, I tripled my income the month we ended. I was like, what? That's insane because money is an energetic exchange. I know I'm getting off topic. I'm talking about behavior, but this is, this is behavior. Your behaviors, your money behavior, all of the things that you do send your brain a message, and they also act with the energetic world, energetic external world. We have two worlds, the internal world and the external world. Everything that's going on in here is going to be reflected out here. That's why your friend next to you has an entirely different experience in the world than you do because you have totally different internal worlds. You have the full ability to, I don't want to use the word manipulate, you know what, create your internal world so that your external world can attract it. And people say like, oh, I don't know if that's true. I've never seen it happen. It's because you don't know how. I didn't think it was possible either until I started exercising all this stuff I've been studying for years. The chakra system, the energy system, the mindset work, the healing work. I've been doing this for years. I used to work in human behavior and neuro. That's where it all started before it was even in real estate. And through all that work, I got to see it happen with other people. And I was, on a smaller scale, I was working with kids, so I got to see it with children. And once I was able to see that, I'm like, how can I do that for myself? And, and that's why I was able to utilize the tools. But if you don't have the tools, go get the tools. So you can change your behavior and you can create after, after that. You do the healing work, the foundational work. Then you do the mindset work, which is like, we're talking about building the house, 
Then we do the behavior changes and the habit changes, all the decoration inside of the house. Then you get this new desired outcome. It's like when you, when you go outside the house to take a picture and you're like, I love that house. And that's how you break a pattern. This is how we change. This is how we can create motivation in our life. This is how we can bring more money into our life, more success into our life. Just because you haven't seen it does not mean it's po not possible. And that's the main thing that keeps people stuck. Just because they haven't seen it, they don't open their minds to the possibility. The second you open your mind to the possibility, the second the outer world starts to show you opportunities. Because if you don't know it's possible, there's a complete mental block there and the world's like, it's not accessible in your internal world. We're not even going to make it accessible in your external world. And even if it is, you wouldn't see it because you can't see it in here, so you won't see it out there. You'll miss it every time. So when you understand the healing, the mindset work, the behavior changes in the energy system, it gets easier. I don't know how else to say it because it's you can't touch it, you can't feel it, you can't even really see it. But it's, an, it's a work of energy. It's literally a work of art. And the more knowledge you gain on it, the more you're going to find yourself being more motivated because you understand the process. You understand this game of life. You understand what you're here to do. And another thing is, you really wanna find your purpose and mission, something that sets your dang heart on fire. And if you're doing something that sets your heart on fire and you're still tired, that's okay. That just means you need to do some energy work, right? And so do the energetic healing, do the healing work, do the mindset work, the behavior changes, get that new desired outcome. It is possible. Money is unlimited, success is unlimited, love is unlimited, all of these things are available to you. They're literally right there, like right there. You just have to let them in. And if you have blocks to receiving, because you don't think you're worthy or because you're scared or because you don't want more stress or you don't want more pressure. This is all subconscious stuff. You may be sitting here like, but I don't. I had a client the other day who was like, I don't know why I can't make more money. And every time I do make more money, I just want to, I just want to spend it. And I just end up spending, I don't know where it all goes. And I told her that it's psychologically proven. You cannot, you cannot make, have and hold 10% above or 10% below your per perceived financial self-concept. Self-concept is your self-worth, your perceived self-worth of yourself. She's like, but I really love myself. I've done all this self-worth work. I said, okay, maybe, maybe you have, maybe you do love yourself, but you don't, you may think you're worthy of a lot of other things, but you don't feel you're worthy of money. There's a block there. Otherwise, you'd have more money if you thought you were worthy of money and you want money. It'd be different if you didn't want money, but you want more money. And so because you want more money and you don't have it, it's because you're not letting yourself have it. Because there's nothing but opportunities in the world. I swear to you, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And you don't need to, you, you don't need to limit yourself on the ways in which you make it either. Because there's so many ways to make money. So just know that you can have whatever you want and it starts with gaining the energy and the motivation to get there. Find your purpose, find your passion. It's really important that you at least find a why. And if, if you're in a place where you're just like, I don't know my purpose, I don't know my passion, get support. We do that a lot. We do that, we work on that in the mastermind. If you are seeking your purpose, that is what we will focus on with you. And I also do that in one-on-one. -on -one. It's a big one-on-one -on -one project as well, but whichever one you desire to, however you want to get there. And if you're in a place where you're like, I'm discovering my purpose, I'm trying to figure that out, but I have this job right now, I just can't stand it. You've got to find a way to love it. You've got to find a way to learn from it. You've got to find a way to feel like you're winning in it. Because, and it's good that you don't want to be there anymore because if you had the feeling of satisfaction, you were satisfied, you would not fulfill your purpose. So it's good that it's pushing you out of there. Let life push you, but let it push you so hard that it pushes you into your purpose where you have to figure out your purpose. I know for me, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I quit real estate. 
I just knew my journey was over. There was no denying it, I had to get out of there. It just wasn't good for me anymore and I needed to just cut it. And I sat down with the journal for, th I don't know how many days it was. I'll, we'll call it 30 days because it was around there. Every single day I said, what, what do I want to do every day? How do I want to help people? I wrote it down, flipped the page, wrote it down, flipped the page, wrote it down. Every single day for 30 days. When I went back, every page said the same thing. And it was a coach. I want to help people. I want to counsel people through understanding who they are and what they want. All of these things towards success and towards making more money and all this stuff that like I've already knew, but like I, did, I wouldn't let myself know. And so a lot of it is you're blocking your own perspective. A lot of it is allowing. And that's why that's the fourth step, receiving that new desired outcome, receiving, allowing. That's when we tap into like that inward flow and it changes your life. Your life is going to change. And if you're afraid for your life to change and you want to stay in your comfort zone, that's on you. But if you don't, start learning how to sit and be with the discomfort because it's going to get uncomfortable. Go do things that make you really uncomfortable. Go dance in the middle of the street and just practice being uncomfortable. I don't care. Whatever you want to do. Go live on Instagram. That's uncomfortable. To this day, I still get a little anxious about it because it's like, no, yeah, it's live. And... It just, that's just is what it just is. But I say every time before I get on, I'm like, I know how to be uncomfortable. It's fine. Like, and let's practice more. So practice being uncomfortable so that you can move to this place of motivation. You can enhance your energy system. You can increase so you can make more money. That money is going to feed your energy system too because the energy that you already have is gonna call in more money. That more money that comes in is going to increase your energy and it's going to keep going because it's an exchange. It's movement. You need movement. You need it. When we are sitting still and standing still, it's like, it's like when you don't wanna to go to the gym because you just wanna lay around, but once you get there, you're like, all right, because you start moving. You start moving. So just start moving some things around. I used to. I don't do this as much anymore. Maybe I should actually. When I was in real estate, I have four different accounts. One's a business account, one's a house account, one's a personal account. Um, and one's a savings account. It's like, what's my other account? I used to just take and move money from each account just because I wanted to see it all move. I just, I just wanted to move things around. And sometimes I would take money from the house account, put it in my business account, use it to pay for something, and then I'd move money from there and there and then move, you know, and just move things around. Because I loved seeing money move around. And that like money movement brought me more money and more money. And so whatever you decide to do, however you decide to practice is up to you. But if you wanna work more on your money blocks, your fear of success, motivation, confidence, these are the things that we work on weekly in the mastermind and i'm telling you people are making shifts the second you get into a group of like-minded people first call one of the clients has already made four different moves that have impact his business in such a positive way in one week one week why because he just didn't have the answers but when you get in a group of like-minded people you've got a group of people to bring you answers not just me as the coach of coaching you guys, but also other people's feedback, things that we didn't, you didn't know. And now you know, and it's, it's an investment. I guarantee you, you're going to make your month, your money back monthly. I guarantee you, if you step two feet into this process and you actually want to be successful and you take everything you can, I guarantee you, you will make your investment back. I can promise you that if, if you don't message me and we'll talk about it but I'm positive because every single one of my clients do. Every time they work with me and they're committed to the process, they make more money. I have seen my clients double, triple, quadruple their income. Sometimes I'm like, dang, like I need, I need one of me. Like I need, I need to coach me. Like I need to take myself outside and like, and have a coach like me. Cause it's different when it's me. It's like, I, I have my own coaches as well. 
But yeah, and that's not to sell you guys. That is to tell you the truth. I've got plenty of client testimonials and, and just so, so much transformation, proof and journey. And it's because that four step framework really works. And it's because I feel so passionately about this because I've applied it to my life and it's given me a life that I never thought was possible. I could, I could really cry thinking about it. Like I didn't know all of this was possible. I grew up with a single mom. I was constantly worried about money and I felt like I had to take care of my family my whole life. I didn't know that I would ever be able to receive and have like my own beautiful home or my nice car or anything like that. And or even to be an entrepreneur and run my own business and have my time freedom. But because I was able to figure out how to give that to myself, I want that for you. Like I want you to get a taste of this life where you don't have to live in this chaotic place of pressure and stress and anxiety all of the time in a negative way to where it, it debilitates you. There's, there's, the other, there's another side, there's another world that you just don't know is possible for you and you just have to open your mind to that possibility. So the best, the best way to get in touch with me is to follow me on Instagram or to check out the mastermind, the link to the mastermind below and apply and we'll get on a, we'll get on a free call and we'll be able to talk about if this is a good option for you as an, or not. At least we'll be able to connect and I get to learn more about you and we can talk about if one-on-one is a good option for you, if group is a good option for you. I have free options too. So don't be afraid to get on a call and we can talk a little bit more about this. And don't forget to subscribe, show some love, and I hope this is helpful. As always, good luck.